Hi, Dr. Loafis and Pharaoh Craftsmat. We are from Group 23 and our group title is My Set Your Brand. As a starter, what is the humanitarian air transport? Humanitarian air transport is a part of air transportation that focuses on delivering and storing supplies to areas and people who are affected by natural disaster or complex emergency. The objective of the game are to provide players with the basic to understand humanitarian air transportation during the game and to enhance the teamwork and communication skill of students participating in the game. That's all for my presentation. I will pass to the next presenter. Hi and good morning to everyone. So now I will continue the presentation with the information of the game. First, there will be six groups in this game and there are five players per group. Besides, about the duration of the game are 40 minutes. Each round will be estimate 20 minutes and there will be two rounds. So each group is about three minutes. Besides, about the target of the audience are the students of CrossMed who are taking air transport management and they are interested to know more about humanitarian air transport logistic relief efforts and through this game they can enhance their knowledge or to learn a new thing they are related with the course of the study Hi everyone now I want to talk about airplane crafting material and tools. First, we use an M3 Mr. Potato Crisp 150 grams original as the body of the airplane prototype. Then use the cardboard to make the head, tail and wings of the airplanes. Next, we use satay stick to secure the tail of the airplane and the two wings. In addition, we also use other materials and tools such as A4 paper, scissors, masking tape, glue and color print to complete our airplane prototype. Next, we spent a total of 7 ringgit and 40 cents to make this airplane prototype. Next, I will continue on how to play the games. There are 5 players in one game. Before the game starts, the group have to spin the wallet and the question will be given based on the compartment that they will get either the cabin or the lower deck. The game will start with all players will look back except the first player. The instructor will give the player a question and the airplane as a medium of transfer to other players. Player 1 have to memorize the question on 30 seconds. Then the first player will receive the question to player 2 and also transfer the airplane. Player 2 will pick up one answer inside the compartment that they already chose and memorize it with the question and receive the question and answer to player 3. All next player will do the same thing as player 2 did. And up to player 5, he or she will receive the question with all the answer that player 2 until player 4 have already picked up to the instruction at the end of the game. Hi all, I will make a summarize. With the impact of this game. First, the most important thing in this game is need to memorize. So through this game, students could increase their memory capacity. Next, absorb information in a fun way. Learning truth game could help students absorb information whilst having fun at the same time, which in turn lead them to learn more. Last but not least, increase the speed of problem solving and decision making. These games have time limits for students to memorize as fast as they can. So, the faster they go, the more they can memorize, the more they can score. In conclusion, we can know that playing tough games can bring up many benefits. That's all from me. Thank you. That's all for our group presentation. Thank you.